إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله Brothers and sisters in Islam Welcome again to the story of Hajj The last episode We talked about the importance Of having a righteous wife In order to have righteous children Brothers and sisters in Islam You cannot imagine The importance of such a thing Last episode We showed you Through the story of Ibrahim and Sarah, the righteous wife to Ibrahim alayhi salam, in the land of the oppressor, when his wife, Sarah, was taken by the oppressor to basically raid her. And look at her righteousness and piety, brothers and sisters in Islam. As soon as she was taken by this oppressor, and again, the hadith fi sahih al-imam al-Bukhari, hadith Abi Hurairah, and Muslim as well, hadith Abi Hurairah, radiyallahu an. Brothers and sisters in Islam, she made wudu, ablution, and she made that beautiful dua. Oh Allah, you know that I believe in you, and I followed your messenger, and I'm keeping myself chaste. I have a husband, protect me. From that oppressor. Allah always delivers you. Brothers and sisters in Islam. Allah delivered her. From this oppressor. And once she was released. And let go. With a gift. Hajar. A maid. Slave woman at the time. Who was brought up in Egypt. In the land. Of idol worshipping. And you could see. From the story of that oppressor that it was a corrupt land at the time. Sarah ran back to Ibrahim alayhi salam. She found him praying. She was so excited to share with him the news that she was saved. أَلَمْ تَعْلَمْ أَنَّ اللَّهَ رَدَّ كَيْدَ الْكَافِرْ وَأَخْدَمَ وَلِيدَ Did you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected me from the blood of the oppressor, and he given me a maid, referring to Hajar. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Ibrahim and his family, Sarah, and in some of the accounts, Lut, and the maid, started journeying back to Palestine again, where they were living. And here is a righteous woman, again, seeing her husband, so desperate, so looking forward to have a child. Remember when Ibrahim السلام, left his people in Iraq, he made that beautiful dua, Rabbi habli min as-salihin, O oh Allah, grant me a righteous boy. And he seek the means by marrying a righteous wife, which is the first step to have a righteous boy. But yet that righteous woman was barren. She could not have children for him. We understand this from the Quran. When she was later on given the glad tiding of Isaac, she smiled and she said, أَأَلِدُ وَأَنَا عَجُوز How can I have a baby when I am so old? But at the time, she saw that Ibrahim السلام, was aging and his hair was turning gray and he was still wanting 
or keen on having a baby. And here she is, made him a beautiful offer, the most beautiful offer made by a wife to her husband. When she needs, when she, when she knows that he needs that, go ahead and marry my maid. I speak to the people of the book who question the legitimacy of that marriage. This is actually the ideal form of having more than one wife, which they call polygamy. Even so, this is not the appropriate term, but for them to understand. They say that Hajar was not the wife of Ibrahim. That is why they question the sonship of Ismail to his father. Here it is. The wife telling the husband to marry her maid in order for him to have a child. Again, something that has to be addressed. That Sarah knew the sincerity of Ibrahim alayhi salam. She knew that he really wanted that boy who can inherit his message, where the messengership and the book will stay in his lineage. She knew that is his intention. It was not about a desire of just having more than one woman in his life. No. Again, I remind you, brothers and sisters in Islam, with the main problem in the Ummah right now, is the majority of us do not know why do we marry. Brothers and sisters in Islam, marriage is the only and the most appropriate avenue of bringing another believing generation into this earth to carry on the banner of Islam. Ibrahim alayhi salam obeyed his wife, Sarah, and he married Hajar alayhi salam, peace be upon her. You could say that both, insha'Allah, as long as we have consensus that women cannot be prophets and messengers. That is why we are recommended to just say, may Allah be pleased with her. But as long as you know that even if we say peace be upon her, that this does not elevate her to be a prophet, then we're okay. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Hajar immediately had a baby, had a child for Ibrahim alayhi salam. Here is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered this dua. Remember, if you are in hajj, don't you abandon making dua. You are in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whatever you ask, Allah will give to you. But in Allah's terms, not in your terms. You see, Ibrahim alayhi salam, made that dua a long time ago. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala delivered it to him now. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the means available for it to happen. Sarah, radiallahu anha, may Allah be pleased with her, was barren. They made the journey to the land of the oppressor, where they got Hajar, the maid. And there, Sarah told Ibrahim to marry Hajar, and Ibrahim did, and here is the baby Ismail. The nature of women, jealousy, beside the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above everything. The way that Hadith Abdullah ibn Abbas, radiyallahu anhuma, and the Hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, and that is where, by the way, I will be narrating the rest of the story of Hajj, insha'Allah, most of the time. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned that Sarah started feeling jealous or the jealousy which is by nature, by inclination in women. And here is Ibrahim alayhi salam also receiving the command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided to take Hajar and her baby to a new place, another place, another location and that location is Mecca. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the story of Hajj is about to begin. When Ibrahim alayhi salam traveled all the way 
from Palestine with his wife, Hajar, and the baby, Ismail, at the time. And all they had were some dates, ripe dates, and some water. And here is Ibrahim, alayhi salam, leading Hajar in the desert with her baby, Ismail, and Hajar asking him, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? You see, it's a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, if your wife is righteous and pious, and that is why we stress the fact, if you have not married yet, go for a righteous wife. She will help you execute the command of Allah. Even if it comes to her, Hajar keeps asking Ibrahim alayhi salam, why? 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 In some of the wording of this hadith, he would not answer. Can you imagine leaving a mother with her baby in the desert with nobody around them? What condition she's at? What really strikes and amazes you and me is just remember where this woman was brought up in an environment of shirk, an environment of disbelief. Remember, they got Hajar from the land of the oppressor. Just by mingling and living in the house of Ibrahim alayhi salam for some years. Look at the amount of faith she developed in that answer, in that comment that she made to the answer of Ibrahim alayhi salam. After Ibrahim refrained from answering her in some of the wording of the hadith, she then told her, Did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala command you to do this? Allahu amaraka bihada. In some of the wording, فَأَوْمَأَ بِرَأْسِهِ He did like this. Or he said yes. Look at this answer filled with faith, confidence in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Go, then go. إِذَنْ لَا يُضَيِّعُنَا He will not waste us. He will take care of us. Look at the beauty of having a righteous wife. That is why Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, الدنيا متاع This world is a pleasure. And the best of its pleasure, a righteous woman. وَخَيْرُ مَتَاعِهَا الزَّوْجَةُ الصَّالِحَةُ So important, brothers and sisters in Islam. She helped her husband carry out the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here is Ibrahim, alayhi salam, walking back, leaving his family alone in the desert. But did he really leave them alone? Let's find out the next episode of the story of Hajj. How Ibrahim alayhi salam again helped his family even while he's abandoning them in the desert alone by themselves. Till the next episode of the story of Hajj. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. لا بريك اللهم لا بريك لا بريك لا بريك لا بريك اللهم لا بريك لا بريك لا بريك لا بريك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا بريك لا بريك اللهم لا بريك لا بريك لا